Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have a two functions, real valued functions f and g. Both functions are differentiable at p, then we have to prove that their product is also differentiable. f into g is also differentiable, this thing we have to prove and derivative will be that one, right? So let us start with the given information and we will prove at the end that f into g is also differentiable at p. So the first information is, let me write here, we have f is differentiable at point p. So you are familiar with the definition of differentiability, right? So by definition, we can write, therefore, limit extends to p f of x minus f of p upon x minus p is equal to f dash of p. I am calling it as equation number 1, right? So f is differentiable at p, so by definition I could write it. Definition says that limit exists and its value is f dash of p. As well as we have the second information, g is also differentiable. So we can apply the same definition for g also. Let us do that. We have, we have g is also differentiable at point p. So by definition, what can I write? Limit extends to p g of x minus g of p upon x minus p and its value is g dash of p. This is also important thing for us. I am calling it as equation number 2. So let us uh, come to the target. What is our target? What is our objective? Our target is to prove f into g that is also differentiable. The same definition I am going to use to prove f into g is differentiable, right? So will you tell me what I should consider? What we want f into g differentiable. Now whatever the function we uh, want to prove it is differentiable, we take it here. I will do the same. Limit x tends to p. We have to prove that f into g is differentiable. So let me take it here f into g of x minus f into g of p upon x minus p. So now our ultimate aim is to prove that this limit exists. This is our ultimate aim. If limit exists, we can declare the function is differentiable. Okay. So yes, uh, let us write it here. Let me draw one line here. Okay. So now what will we do? We will operate these functions on x and p. So we'll have limit x tends to p f of x into g of x minus f of p into g of p. Okay. So we cannot apply the limit directly, getting you cannot apply the limit directly. So for that, we need to do some adjustment. See what we have to do, we have to try to adjust these two terms there. So we can put their values using equation one and two. Let us try to do the same. So this is equal to limit x tends to p. This is x minus p. Huh? Yes, let me write it. f of x, g of x. What shall we do? Mm, we have to do some adjustment. What will I do? Uh, I will write g of x, uh, f of p plus g of x, f of p. I have added and subtracted the same term. So if you cancel it, you will have the previous term. Minus f of p, g of p divided by x minus p. Okay, so now simply tell me uh, what can we take common from first two terms? From first two terms, we can take g of x common, right? So we can write here f of x minus f of p. I am taking g of x outside. And tell me what can we take co common from last two terms? We can take f of p common, right? We can take f of p common. So let me write here f of p in bracket, you will have g of x minus g of p whole divided by x minus p. I hope you can see this g of x minus g of p. What will I do? I will divide separately. I will divide this term by x minus p. I will divide second term also by x minus p. I will apply separate separate limit okay so before that i will divide separately let me write it properly limit x tends to p what will you have if you divide separately f of x minus f of p upon x minus p have g of x here plus here also i will divide f of p g of x minus g of p upon x minus p now i will apply the limit so in uh, limit 
topic we have already seen if you have such case we can apply separate separate limit to each that means we can apply this limit to this bracket what will you have if you apply the limit to this bracket from equation 1 its value will be a dash of p right so i should mention the reason let me write it here from 1 from 1 okay here i am going to use 2 also so i am writing from 1 and 2 see a dash of p g of x if you apply the limit to g of x see what will happen if you apply the limit to g of x it will be g of p the reason is uh, let me write a reason here g is differentiable implies g is continuous getting since we have seen one result every differentiable function is continuous so that's why i could write it and if g is continuous at p we can write limit extends to p g of x is equal to g of p by definition of continuity so very simple reason and logical reason so that's why uh, we can write here g of p if you apply the limit to g of x you will have g of p let us apply the limit to next terms plus f of p it's a constant no no need to apply any limit and if you apply limit to the last bracket its value will be g dash of p from equation number 2 <coughs> the reason already we have mentioned here from 1 and 2 so that's it limit exists the most important thing is that limit exists so that's why we can declare yes f into g is also differentiable at p and its derivative will be this one i think same thing we want to prove no yes we want the same thing and we got it right so make a screenshot of it and i will write few last sentences here so i have written a conclusion here the conclusion is that limit exists therefore f into g is differentiable at point p and its derivative will be this thing whatever we have got at the end that will be its derivative so in this way we prove this thing okay so yes make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye